All right, bro. A gigabyte. So we can finally get into it. You, you, before we started, you asked me fucking, what did I think? What do you think, dude? I have very conflicted emotions on this. From a rap standpoint, um, it's super impressive. I, just some of the bars and stuff. Um, oh, some of his best rapping. I think so. I think so. Like, yeah. Yeah, I think Drake, in previous, like, beefs and diss tracks, has... Um, has, like, held his own, like, a lot with, like, wordplay and rhyme schemes and everything. Um, like, he really kind of gets in his bag, like, lyrically when he's going at somebody. Yeah. Um, which I do appreciate. Because to him, like, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. That's what it... He said something about, like, how this was a step down for him. Yeah. Like, he didn't even... That's, I think, one of the biggest flexes you could do. From Because he's not even from the rap world. Mm-hmm. Essentially, you know, he's a pop star, but when he raps, he can rap. And he's like, I don't even have to. Yeah. So, I mean, it was it was pretty impressive. I was impressed with the fact that he went at everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, shit. I mean, we can dig into like some of the lyrics. Like, I think the line that was where he said, um, "What's a king to a prince, or what's a prince to a king? A that's son. a son." Yeah. Uh, that's that was a great way to flip Kendrick's "Prince Outlived Mike Jack." Would you say Prince is Michael Jackson's son? No, <laughs> no. If I, I, I mean, I'm who's older. Well, Prince, they're both dead, right? But, uh, but nah, man, nah. <laughs> Prince, it, it, me personally, I would take Prince over Michael Jackson. Um, right. but, but yeah, man, that that was a that was a great way to flip it. Uh, I, I will say like. I feel like there's not much you can like dig at Kendrick with. Like it's just the it's the size stuff because he's short. Yeah. You know, so I feel like it's like surface level. Yeah. Like petty petty stuff. Yeah, he took he took the direction that like I almost like expected him to take with some of the jabs, but mm-hmm. he definitely did it in a for the most part like a pretty impressive way. Um, I didn't really like the like you in a scope watch my aftermath or whatever. Like I didn't like that line because. I mean, Absol like already flipped their labels names like that, like on a verse previously and everything. So it was just like not Interscope anymore. Uh, I he might still be under Interscope, but I'm just saying Absol has used that like wordplay before. Okay. So it's just like okay. I mean, I'd heard that before. Um, but so that that line didn't hit that much. But there was there was a bunch of them in here where. I mean, shit, he, he knows how to get under people's skin. I feel like the whole reason people are even teaming up on him like this in the first place is because he's been doing it for a decade plus. The whole hook about the drop and give me 50 with the top dog, uh-huh. that was a wild thing. Because did he actually have to pay him out essentially to leave or did he finish his contract? I don't remember. I don't know. Well, I think Mr. Moran, the Big Steppers was a double album so that he could get out of his contract. Um, I think that's why it was technically a double disc album. Not the only reason why, but I think that was one of the reasons why it was released as a double disc album was because kind of similar to what Tupac did with All Eyes on Me, put out a double album if you have two albums left. Yeah, like if you have two albums left on your contract, get out of it by making one album that's a double album. Mm -hmm. Um, So I think it might, I think maybe Drake knows something about like maybe Top Dog was like asking Kendrick for 50% royalties or something. Um or 50% ownership over the music or something. Like, maybe Drake just has, like, some inside information on that. Um, but I don't know, man. But if he, got a, if he got out of the album Legit with a double LP, then he didn't have to pay anyone out. No. So those are just, those are allegations, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, it's rap beef. He's just, gonna, he's just gonna say whatever. I also don't think that, like, I don't know that. I feel like that doesn't dig super deep either, because like Drake has had label issues as well, and Drake has been split amongst like five different distribution companies as well. Right. He's not at this moment in time, but he has been in that position before. So it's just like, I don't know. But it it's it's yeah. it's rap beef, bro. Like you're gonna embellish, you're gonna say whatever just to get under somebody's skin. That's crazy. I'm so excited for what comes after this. I won't lie. Like, because to your point, Kendrick could say something like that. Like, this happened to me once, and I did it, you know, like, legit. I didn't pay anyone out, but you got to do it, like, five times. <laughs> Some people were saying um, it's going to be crazy when 
like Kendrick starts hitting him with like pedophile bars, like oh, fuck, or, like somebody said somebody took the video of Drake like on stage with that seventeen year old girl, and they were like Kendrick's gonna use this for the intro on the diss track or whatever, and like the groping, yeah, the groping thing, and then and then after he finds out she's seventeen, he still was like, damn you. Thick as fuck or whatever. You gonna get me in trouble? So I was, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bro. What? I, I feel Is like that... that's yeah. No. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to be. It's no secret. I like put it out there. I'm. I'm obviously a Kendrick fan, so I'm biased, and I'm trying yeah. not to be. Like I'm trying to. Besides the rapey shit. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible. But like, that's all Kendrick has to do. Low key is just call out the pedophile stuff, like. Because Damn. I and if and and it's not even like it's just that video, bro. Like when Drake does the. uh uh, like his concert with the Princess Diana shit in the background. Kendrick does that, but with the video of him groping that chick. Dude, oh <laughs> my god! Or like just the text of him between between Drake and Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah, oh, fuck, <laughs> yeah. yeah, just like on a reel. <laughs> fuck. But yeah, there's like there's like a bunch of instances of Drake texting like underage like upcoming stars and like. Or like, he should just do it, dude. He should do that. <laughs> yeah, I, that's all he has to do if he wants to win, in my opinion. Because, yeah. like... He would out Drake what Drake did. Because I feel like... I don't know. I feel like if people, like... People don't fuck with pedophiles, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, like, no, I feel dude. like that's all he has to do to get, like, a bunch of people off Drake's side. Because I feel like people aren't aware of these things, especially that video. I feel like most people who are Drake fans, like, have never seen that video. I haven't seen the video, but I'm not a Drake fan. Do you want to see the video? I actually don't want to see it, dude. <laughs> Why? Do you not? Why, do you dude? actually not want to see it? You don't have to see it if you don't want to. All right, so, bro. After, oh, I forgot. He fucking kisses her on the lips even after finding out she's 17. I forgot about that shit, bro. I thought this was going to be like some weird backstage video, but this is like out in front of everyone. Bro, it's... It's like center stage. It's, it's there, bro. Like... Like, bruh, you found out she's 17 and you still did all this? And people are talking about, oh, he's in Denver, Colorado. It's legal out there. <laughs> and I'm like, dog, are you for real right now? And when was this? Yesterday? No, this <laughs> that, that's 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 old. Drake was 23 in that video. So, Fuck. yeah, it's not, it's not like 40-year-old Drake doing it, but still 23... I don't know, like, it's just, it's weird shit, bro. It's a weird age gap, dude. It's just weird to even be doing that on stage. Yeah. In general, especially once you find out somebody yeah, under dude. 18, like. Did he act surprised and then, like, was it, like, staged? Or, were, I hope it was staged, because if not, then. There is no way that was staged, bro. <laughs> Kendrick has to just use that video in the back of a concert. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> that would be fucked. That would be crazy. But yeah, so I feel like that's all Kendrick has to do. There might be a, Bi a Millie Bobby Brown uh, bar. There might be a fucking... I don't know. There's there's a bunch of things he could say say to get at Drake. Have uh, Millie Bobby Brown on a track? <laughs> as a feature? What would she say? I feel... But she oh, no. she, she, she says... Him. She knows... But she, sa she says that they're just like friends. Okay. But those texts, are they weird? I haven't seen them. Dude. I haven't seen them, but I don't, I don't know. I just don't texting with texting a random thirteen year old girl anyway is just weird when you're yeah, fucking no. thirty something years she old. She was thirteen. I don't know. I, she was young. She was pretty young. Isn't she like in her twenties now? Because of like Stranger Things. That's been going on forever. Drake and Millie Bobby Brown have been friends for several years, and the actress said at fourteen that the two text often. How old was he? More 36 than. is 17 years, so he would have been 31 when she was 14 texting her. Yeah, so that's all Kendrick got to do. But I will say, uh, to just get back on the subject of the diss, I don't know if I'll leave all the pedophile shit in there. I might. I don't know. Hey, man. It might get a lot of hate because people love Drake, but... You got to expose him. If he's talking about... I don't know. Maybe. Depends. Depends how far you want to go with it. Yeah, I don't know. But I do think the we need a we need a verse for the Swifties. I think that was a good line just because Kendrick do be doing pop features sometimes. But Drake is a pop star, so like who are you to yeah. So then I guess Kendrick could come at it from an angle like you're just dissing me for shit you do all the time. Yeah. <laughs> just like you you always use pop formulas and everything, like how you gonna diss on me for getting a bad girl quick? Yeah, I'm pushing the genre. You stayed in a different one. 
Definitely. Um, one thing that I thought was interesting was people were talking about, I guess The weekend posted, like, a laughing story. Yo, the popcorn? Yeah. And um, people were saying, like, quoting his bar from We Still Don't Trust You, where he said, like, they can never diss my dog, my brothers, like, because uh, they got leaks in their operation. And then, I, ironically, the Drake's diss track gets revealed to the world through a leak. And, like, he never quite, like, directly confirms if it's real. Wouldn't it be crazy? So I don't know. Wouldn't it be crazy if it was fake and Drake is just acting like it was him because people reacted positively to it? Wouldn't that be crazy? Yeah, he just let the internet do its thing. Fuck. That would be (laughs) insane. (laughs) That would be crazy. Um, I don't know. It could be very possible. I I mean, if you have producers and you find out the person that does the AI track, you know what I mean? mm Mm-hmm. They're just like, we could just, like, masterfully mix this to make it sound accurate, and then Drake can actually do the dubs even. Yeah. Or even just re-record it. But, like, yeah. it was already it was already written for him, basically. But I don't know. Daylight Probably did... Probably one of his ghostwriters. I was going to say just something a- about that. Yeah, I typed me some shit about Kendrick. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something about that, because Daylight... Do you know who Daylight is? Oh, fuck. Sounds familiar, but no. He's a battle rapper, like one of the one of the most famous battle rappers, I would say. But um, he He's tweeted, saying, he was like, I wrote this." <laughs> well, he tweeted, he was like, "You should have used the one I sent, Bucko, or whatever." Like what? at Drake, and like implying that like Drake was paying a bunch of battle rappers to send him diss tracks to write it, for and him. he he didn't pick Daylight, so Daylight was like, "You should have picked mine or whatever." So, and he could just be trolling because Daylight is known to troll, but. But if he's not, though. if he's not, like that's hella funny. If Drake was was paying battle rappers to to write his diss for him, yeah. Um, and they would they would be wise to ask for the payment up front. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Damn. If I was, well, do you, think I was, do you do you think he actually sent one to him, or do you think he was just trolling? Knowing daylight, I think he was trolling. Okay, but. Probably because of because of all the ghostwriting stuff with Drake, like I don't know, like because I mean Quentin Miller like made it sound like Drake just be having writers and like all these other rappers just be having writers. So what if Kendrick wrote it and sent it to him, like under the <laughs> under the like anonymous of like a battle rapper? Yeah, just to like set up like his return punchlines. Like, what if he has shit planned and he's like, "Oh, if I, if he says this, I can respond with this." So yeah. I'm a. He's just playing with himself. <laughs> he he does the Eminem approach where he disses himself on everything he could get dissed on, and then just says like, "Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> and that's the thing, right? Is I that's what, like I feel like Kendrick has done that. Like especially on the last album, like Kendrick aired out all, all the like, ego things that Drake could have attacked on that album. You know what I mean? On which album? On uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. Like, it's one of the ones, honestly, that I haven't listened all the way through. It's a heavy listen when you listen yeah. all the way through. There's like, yeah, it's it's a pretty heavy listen. It's all about yeah. like therapy and like. Um, that's what it sounds like. Yeah. Like, and that's like the parts I picked up on. Like he was like s- literally stepping away from like rap, I guess. It felt like it felt like that. Yeah, it felt like he was like well, and that's what's funny, right? Because like he like completely. On a yeah, he was like he was basically saying like just the way things kind of are like just weren't resonating with him. At least that's the impression that I got from like the Heart Part 5 and different things on the album. But um but yeah, I don't know, but I I I don't see like after everything he aired out on that album, I don't I don't know like what you could attack him for that would really like bug him. Like I guess you could keep calling him small. Yeah. Like you left your label on shitty terms. It's like yeah, who hasn't? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and he was just, like, saying, like, oh, you want to call up and peace up with Top Now and be friends with Top Now. TDE people have been, like, tweeting their support for Kendrick, like, throughout this whole thing. What do you have to say about some of the bars in here, Marco? What what bars stuck out to you as good? What bars stuck out to you as bad? The whole hook, dude. Because if that's true, that's crazy. Drop and give me 50? Drop and give me 50. and Like, directly calling out, essentially, TDE. But if it's true, it's that's crazy. And the whole grand scheme of tde yeah i mean that's the part 100 percent that stuck out the, to me the most yeah that that part definitely stuck out to me the other part that stuck out to me was the whitney houston line just because the timing of it after you know after he talks about like 
your baby mama. And he could be talking about anybody there, right? Like, he could be talking to ASAP Rocky with Rihanna. He could be talking to Kendrick, whoever. But the fact that the Whitney bar comes directly after that. But you just got to be careful with stuff like that. Because, like, that's what made Pusha T go so crazy on Drake. Was he mentioned Virginia Williams, Pusha T's wife. And then Pusha T was like, okay. that Then he released a story of Addie yeah. Don. And so, I mean... I don't know. Just but comes out with story of added on to with featuring Pusha T. That would be crazy. I'm I wouldn't be surprised if Pusha jumps into this like rap civil war at some point. Imagine imagine I can't wait, dude. Imagine <laughs> he interprets the drop and give me fifty or like the push ups like title as like Pusha T. <laughs> like, oh, maybe God. and then he just drops the whole fucking whole fucking diss about it. I could see Pusha getting involved at some point. Featuring fifty cent. 50 cents on Drake's side. Oh, fuck. Yeah. He he tweeted out his support for Drake, saying Drake killing everybody or whatever. Damn. Yeah. But I don't know, bro. Supposedly, it's it's it could all just be rumors, because, like, you know how the internet is. But supposedly, Kendrick has had a diss track for four years, and he's just, like, been gathering information for it. And... I don't know, man. If he's had something on you for four years and he's just been waiting for the moment to drop it, like... He's just been in the booth this whole time? Yeah. Like, oh, fuck. Doing research? Like a... <laughs> Damn. I don't know, man. Wild. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Do you think he'll do it as a single? As, like, an EP? Do you think he'll collab with anyone? I have no clue what he's going to do, if I'm being honest. I think he's just going to do just him. I, yeah, I have no clue what he's going to do. Because, like, I feel like every time I thought I knew what Kendrick was about to do, he did the exact opposite of what I thought he was going to do. Like, every album has been like that. Every. Yeah, man. So I have no clue. Yeah, I have no, no clue. Two of his albums are, like, sonically, like, take out his rapping and, like, the subject matter. That alone is a completely different album from the next. Mm -hmm. And then how he does his voice. Some of the, like, sing-songy parts and stuff. It's, yeah. I have no idea. He might just go on tour. The Fuck Drake Tour. <laughs> the Fuck Drake Tour. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think it might just be a track, though. I could, I, You know what I could see him doing? I could see him, like, hopping on, like, a Drake beat to do the diss or something. Like, I could oh see him God. doing some, some shit like that, too, because... He'd have to just, like, release it on YouTube. Because I don't think he could. I well, shit. Drake would let that slide. Drake's track is only on YouTube. It's still just a fucking leak, bro. Like, we can't yeah. listen to it, like. Yeah, he hasn't released it, technically. Yeah. Which is, you like. you think he will? I don't, like, I don't know why you wouldn't. Like, I'm confused. Like, that's yeah. what makes me think, like, it's so weird that it just, like, leaked. And then he just started acting like it was his without confirming like yeah that's the this track you know what i mean that radio station was like wh which one was the one it was like 10 something but it turns out they were owned by like our iheart radio and they were like yeah no it's 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 legit it, it has to be legit because uh rory and maul have a podcast and prior to it leaking they were talking about a potential drake diss and they were referencing lyrics in it like subtly like they didn't want to give away that they had heard it but now in hindsight okay like like rory said uh drop and give me 50 or something like that oh, shit. and so like they they heard That's it like in, hi dude. in hindsight we know they heard it so it, ha it has to be real um or they knew of it yeah yeah it, it definitely has to be real though i just i don't know man i don't know what's gonna happen I, if he says this is the only fucking... It's going to become like a TikTok trend. When people are going to do like the 50 push-up challenge. Oh my God, <laughs> dude. I don't know if I could get to 50. I can crack 35 for sure right now, but I don't know if I could get to 50. And you'd have to do it in the length of the song. Oh, I could I could probably do it. If you gave me the full length of the song, I could like take breaks in between. I could probably do it. Okay. <laughs> That's it, dude. The Drake drop and give me 50 challenge. We should make that a thing, bro. That might blow up. What the fuck? Um, nah, but we can't use the song on TikTok though because it's not officially released. So 
Unless we make like our original sound. That's exactly of it. why we could upload it. Because Drake can't take it down. He hasn't oh, he didn't upload it. You're right. Who uploaded it? Was it just some dude? It's just a leak. No one knows where it came from. Probably came from Drake's camp. Some people think so. It leaked like two or three times throughout the day yesterday, right? The first leak. I saw the what, one on YouTube. It was like a couple hours and it already had like a million or two views. Yeah, dude. So the, the first leak was like. It was one way. The second leak was then like slightly different, and then the third leak was then like slightly different. What do you mean? So like, like some some little lyrics were changed, or like the beat was changed. Like some what? something would be a little different about each of the leaks, and so people were like, "Oh, Drake is fucking leaking his diss to test what's gonna <laughs> what's gonna hit the most," and then like we're finding it. Um, which I don't know if that's that's probably. Did probably you hear not. the other ones? I haven't heard the other ones. I've only heard whatever the final one is. Uh, so but I heard be fucking rumors, dude. No. no, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think there's much validity to that. I think that's just people, you know, talking their shit, whatever. Confusing the masses. <laughs> yeah, as they do. I mean, this whole thing is everybody also has already like picked their sides in this battle, and I yeah. feel like no diss track from the other, unless someone like really attacks somebody's like character and like digs up some dirt. Before they just talked about his height, <laughs> or his shoe size, and. Potential money loss. Yeah. So it hasn't gotten too personal yet, unless, you know, Kendrick still has, like, good relations with TDE. I don't know. On, did he leave on, like, shit terms? No, mm -hmm. I mean, at least on a public, like, fashion, it was all, like... It was like in oh, yeah, he's just... Faith. He's like, yeah, he's just moving on to the next chapter in his career. Next and big step. Next big step. There you go. But, yeah, it was it was all, like, pretty professional, like... Okay. And cordial and how they ended. But, I mean, again, we don't know, like, everything is different behind closed doors. And also, Drake is probably embellishing, too. Like, I'm, they might have had contract disputes. It probably didn't go beyond contract disputes. Like, they probably, it wasn't anything personal. It was just business. Like, they weren't working out business-wise. No, but he's calling him out like he lost the deal. Exactly. Like, because he knows that that's going to, like. That's going to push him. Yeah, that's going to get under, under Kendrick's skin. He's just trying to poke buttons. But he said, I, and that's just what I know. He said, he said, that's not all I know. That's not all I know. He said, that's all, not all I know. Uh, fuck, what did he say? He said, it was like right at the end. He said, this ain't everything I know. Don't wake the demon up. And then he said it twice. <laughs> this ain't everything I know. So he's going to get people to go find, you know, he's going to get that Anthony Fantano super fan <laughs> to go dig up some Kendrick dirt. Los Poyos. Is that his name? Yeah, Los Poyos TV. <laughs> Shout out Los Poyos TV. Um, you got a big check coming your way, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he had a line in here about Cole too. What do he say? Um, yeah, he, he said, "Uh, and that fucking song y'all got did not start the beef with us. The shit been brewing in a pot. Now I'm heating up. I don't care what Cole think uh, that 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 shit was weak as fuck. Yeah, that shit was weak as fuck. So he's so like he's jumping on the bandwagon that the Cole." Like, seven-minute drill thing wasn't good. Which, arguably, it wasn't that good. Well, no, he's jumping on the bandwagon. When he says that dot shit, he's talking about Kendrick's stuff. So he's agreeing with what Cole said about To Pimp a Butterfly in that line. What? Yeah, so he said, I don't care what Cole think, that dot shit was weak as fuck. Dot refers to K-Dot, Kendrick Lamar. So he's... Damn, they he's, fucking cause, broke cause, it down, dude. Because one of the things that... Um, one of the things that people were saying about J. Cole's diss was like, oh, his diss is whack because he called To Pimp a Butterfly yeah, it was boring. Weak as fuck. Well, no, but people were saying it, his diss was whack because he called To Pimp a Butterfly boring. Okay. So Drake is coming out and saying, and, and then apologize for it because he doesn't actually think To Pimp a Butterfly is boring, right? So Drake is coming out and saying, I don't care if Cole thinks that line deserves an apology. I think that album was weak as fuck. Like he's agreeing with Cole that To Pimp a Butterfly was boring. Right. Okay. 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 He's like, I don't care about your apology. The shit you said still, still stands. Still, yeah, exactly. Basically, exactly that. Yeah, this is some of his best rapping, dude. <laughs> yeah, it, for it's sure. It's funny that it takes something like this, like a diss. It was almost like a month before he put it out, though. The jury's still up, dude. This still may not be him. He hasn't uploaded it. He personally <laughs> has not uploaded this track. Yeah, but that I feel like that Rory and Maul... Like interview definitely like proves it for me because they were they referenced lines in the song and it was well before the song leaked, so they had to have heard it. I don't know. 
I think Kendrick's best move is to still not reply. I disagree. I want to <laughs> until he uploads that to his discography. It has to be in there. Nah, because he's he's acting like it's his, so he's at least yeah, standing on these disses, even if these disses weren't written by him. But he's acting. But even if he is, I think that's just more. I don't know. I feel. I feel like. I feel like we'll get something from Kendrick soon. I hope. I hope. Drake is forced to actually release this. Just so it's like in his discography. That one time I had a diss Kendrick and everybody. <laughs> well, Spotify. Um, Spotify was like teasing it coming out. Like they were put, they were putting up like billboards in New York and stuff like that. So it's probably gonna come out on streaming soon. Yeah, man. I don't know. <laughs> Overall, um, what do you think about the Rick Ross stuff? He's like, you're 50, still doing this shit, dude. <laughs> I don't I know. I went back and had to go listen to some Rick Ross. I was like, okay, yeah, this sounds like some DJ Khaled. <laughs> you know what I mean? Definitely it has that same kind of vibe for sure. But Super I don't know, loud man. Horns. I was like, whoa, shit. It sounds like. It sounds like you should be driving in like a luxurious vehicle while it's yeah blasting. Like he mixed an orchestra into the beat. <laughs> but yeah, you have to be like in a nice ass car. <laughs> have to be. But I don't know. I did think it was kind of funny that Rick Ross replied like instantly, like within an hour of the le- like the league dropping. Yeah. Did he really? I have I didn't listen to his response. Yeah, it was like it was like one hour he already had a track out. What? Yeah. Um, and I guess he was, like, calling out Drake for getting a nose job what? and whatever. And then he was, like, saying Drake was just, like, the white boy that wants to hang around everybody and whatever. He was, like, calling out how, like. He got a nose job? Well, I don't know. Because then Drake. He's Hollywood, technically. Drake. Pop star. Drake then shared a text message thread with him and his mom on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And his mom texted him, like, oh, I didn't know you got a nose job or whatever. And he was, like, oh, no, that's just Ross. Like, he's in his feelings or what? Like, he showed that, shared that text thread of, like. That's just Ross? He's, like, that's just Rick Ross being in his feelings. or Like, he basically was just, like, talking shit about Rick Ross to his mom being, like, no, I didn't get no fucking nose job or whatever. Because his mom was, like, why didn't you get me one? Oh, <laughs> shit. Like, his mom's just watching from the sidelines. <laughs> yeah, dude, basically, that shit's wild. That shit is crazy. He's like, don't worry, mom. Your son is just in the biggest fucking rap beef in the world, and you're just, just watching. Like it's just it's yeah. it's wild. It gives her something to do, keep her entertained. <laughs> but yeah, man, I hope it doesn't get super ugly. Like, yeah, like I don't want I don't really want that to happen. You know what I mean? Like I don't want nuclear. What was that dude? Like Joe? Yeah, what Joe Budden was talking about is gonna be nuclear gonna or be like. Nuclear. Use the N word, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, I don't know. I don't. I don't want it. I would prefer it to stay hip hop, civil, and and I and I felt like it was gonna remain that until ASAP Rocky said what he said on at the end of that song, and then um, which song? The song that he was on on the Metro and Future album. It was a. <laughs> we still don't trust you. Yeah. <laughs> But it was, was it on the second one or the first one? It was on the second disc. Okay. But it was like it was called uh Show My Hands or something like that. Fuck, I don't but, even remember that verse. Um That's why I said that. But yeah, at the end of it at the what he said at the end of that verse, like, fuck keeping it hip hop, I wanna see somebody bleed or whatever. Okay. And then yeah. um and then just kind of the discourse that I've seen like No, I don't, know. I don't uh, you think he'll go there? Well, I don't know, but then just the kind, not even just, even if nobody dies, just the discourse that I've seen, like, around it since, like, on Joe Budden's podcast, like, the messy stuff they were talking about, it's just, like, and then also Drake now bringing, like, mentioning, like, Kendrick's wife and stuff, it's just, like, I don't know, bro, I, I, I just want to see dudes rap, I don't want to see fucking, I don't like, I'm not a drama lover, like, I know yeah. people, like, hella love drama obviously that's why people watch like reality tv shows and things like that but also it's evident at this point that none of them like each other so lines are gonna get crossed but i would just prefer to see that not happen but i'm it's wishful thinking because that's probably what what it all depends on what kendrick says now because now the it took him long enough but now the ball's in his court yeah Hmm. what Hmm. will what will kendrick lamar do um he'll go on tour (laughs) 
Just exposing them, dude. Or were those just the uh, shows that Drake was doing with the Princess Diana shit in the background? Yeah. They were just shows. It wasn't like a full-on tour, right? Well, I think he's on tour currently. Okay. I think that's why he got so pissed off that the with Kendrick... The yeah, that, that this is all happening when it's happening because he's literally in the midst of his tour currently. Like here in America? Uh, it's probably worldwide, knowing Drake. He did mention Tokyo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He mentions the gritty. Oh, He, he mentions Kais and not, the, which is wild. The gritty line was about John ja Morant. That? Okay. Do you know who John ja Morant is? Uh-uh. John ja Morant's a basketball player, and apparently Drake dated John ja Morant's ex-girlfriend. And when so he's coming out after the NBA now too. Yeah, and when I, I guess when shit started popping off, John ja Morant was like tweeting like that he clearly wasn't on Drake's side, and so then that's why Drake says the he says the gritty line because John ja Morant's always doing the gritty. So he says, "Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty." We know why you mad. I ain't even tripping. All that heartbroken Twitter shit is for bitches. So because John ja Morant was tweeting about the beef and whatever, so he, the, he's even going at fucking basketball players, bro. All the heartbroken like, shit, dude. What if you're Four, like, latest albums been about like, <laughs> his heartbreaks and, like, everything he disses someone for is, like, a direct reflection on him, I think. Yeah, because he came for Kendrick's pop stuff, and he's, he's always he's doing pop, pop stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, there was definitely, there was definitely, there. there was definitely good bars. Yeah, SZA, SZA was, like, she posted a video being, like, see how I always get dragged into stuff or whatever. <laughs> like, she was, like, why am I a part of this? <laughs> There's a lot to unpack. He comes after a lot of people. He does the 20 versus 1 thing. Is it yeah. confirmed how many people he went off on? Ooh. So let's count a lot let's of these people right? he's dragging in for no reason. Like, they're not fucking that basketball player. He's not He's not making music, calling yeah, out he, Drake. Like, what is... No, it's not he, like he's going <laughs> to turn around and make a song. It's, no? that's, what I'm, that's what's so, like, petty or, like, like funny about He's bringing about that. the 20v1 image to himself. What is... Well, that's what, yeah, that's what people were saying they thought Drake was going to do, because they were like, Drake can't take on Kendrick one-on-one, on one. On one, but if Drake makes it seem like it's just him against the whole industry, then he has that to stand on, because people are going to be like, oh, Drake's holding his own against everybody. He's like, no, you kind of brought it on yourself, dude. <laughs> He'd been dissing, like, all these people for years, like, subliminally, so, I mean. In songs? Yeah, has he been? <laughs> yes, he's just terrorizing that basketball player. Th in his oh, songs. probably not. <laughs> probably not Ja, but definitely the rappers and shit. That'd be crazy this if is he just has the first time. I think this is the first time about Ja. I don't know. Maybe he has talked about Ja before, but I don't. I don't think so. He's made albums dedicated to. <laughs> Seeing Cole in Red Leather on uh, "We Still Don't Trust You" that was one of the highlights of that album. I think that with the weekend stuff, it was weird seeing Cole hop on both sides. What do you think about that? So Cole, uh, that that Cole verse is like old. So he wasn't. Okay. Yeah, people were acting like it was like a response. You think he had it planned out then? No, no, he just he was gonna hop on Drake's thing. No, he definitely didn't have none of this planned out. He 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 just made a song with Metro and Future a long time ago. That Metro and Future happened to use right at this moment because they knew how it would look and they were Dude, trying to be petty. What? Okay. What? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, but J, J. Cole made that verse fucking forever ago. And so what do you think? How do you think he's feeling right now, Cole? I think he's just glad he stepped out of it. As much as people shat on him, I think he's just glad that he's, like, not like, going to be. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah, bro, this, this is. Because, like I said, I think he realized, oh, shit, this is real rap beef. Like, it's not just friends sparring. Like, these dudes don't fuck with each other. Damn. So... I think Cole was like, I'm I'm not on that shit. Like, I got no problems with nobody. I'm just trying to rap. And yeah. then he was like, I'm getting up out of here because I'm not trying to dig up dirt on people. I didn't know that was an old verse. I thought he, yeah. like, hopped in the booth, like, the next day. That's what that and Metro Future knew exactly. They thought, they knew everybody would think that. That's why they did it. That's why they did it. How I have to it. get Twitter, dude. I'm so behind on, like. <laughs> Twitter's a terrible place, Marco. <laughs> Don't get Twitter. It's literally a godforsaken app. It's so terrible. Okay. But I would, I would just follow this shit for like the for the deep cuts cuz I straight up thought like You know, bro, I'm pretty in tune with it. Like I I researched some stuff, but I didn't know that it was just like a verse they held on to. I thought he apologized, <laughs> hopped in the booth no. the next day and was like, "Fuck." Yeah. <laughs> that was that was basically everyone's initial reaction until 
until it was confirmed by J. Cole and his team. Like, nah, bro, they've had that verse for a long time. And it was one of the standout songs, I think, just like on a lyrical side, obviously, because yeah. Cole was in it. Yeah. But yeah, I was like, I was excited when that came out. I was like, oh, fuck yeah, dude. The rest of the album? Yeah, man. I think I think that's pretty much what I have to say about it. Uh, Drake fans are probably gonna hate this podcast. Yeah, fuck um, Drake, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's exciting. I'm excited. It is. It is. It is exciting. Like the hip hop fan in me is excited. The human in me wants it to stay civil, but it's probably not gonna happen. Probably just gonna have to accept what what is gonna be. Drake killed X. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! If he didn't just kill, end it, just end it right after if, that. If if Drake didn't kill X, he definitely rapped like yeah. he did. Like definitely, he definitely manslaughtered him. He definitely tried to profit off of rapping as if he killed X. So yeah, because <laughs> there's too many bars that line up with it with the whole situation. So he definitely was trying to act like he did it, even if he didn't. Yo, full circle. That's what all this AI stuff is. He's acting like it's him. <laughs> and he really didn't, dude. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's real. I, I watch, I, dude. I'm calling it. It's not real. He's never gonna physically upload this ever. How could it? How? But like, if he's claiming it's his now, or pretty much acting like it's his, like he also claimed he killed X for profit. But he hasn't like come <laughs> out and claimed that. He's just rapped bars where and insinuated it. You know what I mean? Like, like I totally killed that dude. Like you can always you can always be like, oh no, you're interpreting that line wrong. Like you know what I mean? So like yeah. he hasn't come His out. Lawyer helped him with that. He hasn't come out and straight said like, oh, I killed X. Like why? He he would be stupid to do that. But. Right. Yeah. No. I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know. It's wild shit. I'm excited for Kendrick's response. I feel like. I feel like Kendrick is a very good rapper, and we've never seen him in this position before. So, yeah, it'll, for real, it'll be cool to see uh, what happens when Kendrick like actually wants to diss somebody. Um, with like every reason to, every reason to. I mean, he's mentioned he's. Everyone has a reason to. He's poked a little jab like at your wife's name. Now he's doubled down on Coles to pimp a butterfly. His trash take. He fucking. Yeah, I mean, you have every reason to it. He called you pipsqueak, like, <laughs> yeah. every reason to respond at this point. He said he wears a size 7. I bet it's not. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> it's probably not. Seven and a half at least, eight maybe. Nine on a good day. On a big stepping day. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> on a big stepping day. Do some plugs real quick. Peep. Uh, mine and Marco's mixtape, Las Sombras, that came out in December. Yeah, go peep Las Sombras. Subscribe, like, all those things. Um, if Kendrick replies, there will be a video for that. I'm excited. Peace.